All right, guys, welcome back. Um, we're gonna get this uh, fuel pump, the lift pump relay. So I got it in this box, and wires are just kind of chilling for now. Um, so this is another. It's just like a horn relay. I just pulled out of this harness. It was on one of these. So I grabbed that, and I already had wires and pins on it. So I'm going to show you where I'm going to tap into that fuel pump. So the, the, the factory wiring already runs from the fuel pump up under here, through this right here, and up to, it goes up here, and eventually to this. So this is your factory Toyota um, fuel pump relay basically and see here the blue wire is a positive and this white with black is negative so I'm going to take this negative here probably just ground it here and that positive is going to run to that relay which is going to be mounted in this box here um, obviously all the wiring is not in this truck yet so I'm not going to run that wire yet I'm just going to ground that and then um, what I ended up doing is taking this factory uh, the factory distribution box for power so it's got all those main fuses in there and I mounted that plate right there. Instead of buying a new box, I figured it's already got everything in it. It's a factory Volkswagen. I know it'll work, so that's what I'm going to do there. And this is all factory. This Toyota uh, side, body side of things is all factory. I haven't touched it. The only thing you need to do is the main wire coming out of here that originally ran to the battery here. I extend it over and it's here so once you power that wire the entire body is powered it's as simple as that everything works the cluster all the lights tail lights interior lights heater everything works um, so that makes it very simple so I'm gonna go cut some wires up and uh, I might throw that box or those relays in here I'm just going to kind of lay all this wiring in here for now. Um, I'm just waiting for my ECU and my battery to be able to start the thing. So I'm, I think I might just kind of throw the, the harness in, see how everything lines up, and if I need to lengthen or shorten anything. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. All this wiring is in so yeah it looks like a mess now it's kind of laid out a lot of it's gonna go <clears throat> well, I guess not a lot but some of it's gonna go inside underneath the dash 
like that throttle that's going to go under the dash all these plugs right here um, and then a lot of these are going to be out but I'm like this one has one wire going to it so I'm probably just going to take that out take the connection out and solder it and then we got a couple battery here these ones here are just for my that fuel pump relay that one's got to go to the Toyota ignition and then all this here is for that injection pump and looks like everything's pretty I mean everything's too long so glow plugs these are way too long um, so I'll probably shorten those up a little bit actually the map sensor is right about perfect so yeah it's uh, looking pretty good in here so I'm gonna start tucking some of this wiring I might run that uh, throttle pedal through the dash see if I need to extend those wires at all and see what else I gotta do and then once I get my battery and my ECU we can see if this thing will run alright so as far as this throttle goes uh, a lot of people are having to lengthen all these wires for them to reach um, but found an easier way so I pulled this connector it's the blue connector and it runs all, probably about halfway over there through the dash so all I really need to do is cut this power wire and just lengthen the power wire so all this will be under the dash and then I'll have one power wire here coming up to the relay so I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna snip this thing put some more length in it get this all uh, wrapped up and under the dash alright guys an update I went to go wire this in and this has nothing to do with the throttle pedal actually so what this wire does is you can see it's even not even going to that's the pedal plug-in it's not even going to the, the plug-in <clears throat> so that's actually straight from the ECU to the 109 relay that's basically the trigger to turn that relay on from the ECU so that being said I can not even worry about this side of it I can unpin this side and run this straight to the 109 relay and we'll be done so and we don't have to mess with routing this thing because it originally was going to come up come up here and then turn around and go back so now it can just go straight from the ECU to the 109 alright guys we got the uh, <clears throat> this throttle harness all wrapped up so that's done um, what I'm using for this is just some uh, that wire shielding plastic stuff the corrugated stuff and then I'm wrapping it with some Tessa tape and this is like the it's kind of like a cloth tape it's like what the uh, Volkswagen factory uses so it's a lot of people like it. it doesn't make a mess like regular electrical tape will get really sticky when you pull it off this stuff doesn't do that and uh, it looks a lot better too so I'm gonna get this run over up underneath the dashboard over to the throttle pedal and we will have one harness done all right that wire is run goes up it's that wire here Sorry, there's no light so right there that runs over it's already all plugged in so next I'm gonna get this ECU grounded so here is the stock ground and it splices off or it, it grounds two pins so I got another wire here because it was too short I got another wire right here so it's a run down so I'm gonna solder those together here and here and we'll have ground on the ECU 